all this egotistic stuff here. Chris LaSalle, uh, Mauler, so-called Sky Out. This is just weird. I didn't get a notification for this after show. They probably didn't allow it at all. I don't know. Apparently Sky Out got kicked out of this one. Stations. So those conversations ended with you not being able to give a solid answer. That's it. But if you want Shamar's Shamar's there, you can pull up now. You're still in the Discord. Pull up and we Bro, could all witness witness. Yeah, Chris got cut Chris Lasala, I'm assuming, got cooked by Shamar. What is all this cooking and barbecuing and frying and roasting stuff about if it isn't big headedness? Your conversation just promise, me, with them. just promise me I'll get a front row seat to see you, you and Young Don debate these guys, man. Or, yeah, oh, well, yeah, yeah. but we, but we can, but but the debate, honestly, has already happened multiple times. Yo, Chris, you guys never had a two or two? ten out of ten times. Mullet. We're working things out, including you. But I cook you ten out of ten times any day. You know it, Chris. You're oh. you're telling me you cooked me. Bro, it's is anybody in this comments here believe that Chris Lasala would cook me on a debate on what you said Chris, out of your own mouth, Chris? You said out of your own mouth that uh, what's all this about cooking each other? If this is what their so called debates are about, why would anybody? even think that it's uh i don't know biblical or there's anything clever about you i cooked you really no i cooked you i barbecued you grow up that you oh. just started learning calvinism that was out of your mouth that's I what you Chris said wins with the demons yes, i don't even i don't even that, that's that's not my topic According to Chris's view, he believes God determined everybody to have millions of demons, then determines him to cast out demons, but to still leave millions in Christians. So by that rationale, I don't want to argue that. I'm just going to let that stay where it stays. But, bro, you are delusional if you think you've cooked me in any debate. <sighs> in any debate. Especially on your topic of eternity. When you couldn't answer anything philosophically that made sense about your view of time and eternity. So, Chris, with all due respect, bro, don't he do that. He knows the Bible 50 times better than you. Bro, if, nice, bro, that, bro, bro. If he knows the Bible 50 times better than me, then tell him to prove it right now. We'll clear the room and we'll go to Romans 9. And we're going to hear him exegete Romans 9. Yeah, we'll see how that went last time. How about your John chapter 6? Okay. So, uh, uh, who are the witnesses? That's the great part. Numerous witnesses. Numerous witnesses that watch. And not even me. I let the little homies get at you. The little homies <laughs> were cooking you. That's what that's what happened. So, so you need to stop, bro. Come pulling up in the channel. I've never said any. So now there's such a thing as little homies. Which would indicate that there's such a thing as big homie. He's big. Oh, yeah. Big homie. Anything to you about any debate, but you think you cooked me on 10 out of 10 debates, bro? Bro, not only is that laughable, Crazy. nobody believes that. Because my little homie got on to debate you. And my little homie had you stuck multiple times. Where do you think these dudes learned all that? Oh, they learned everything just from you. Stop, bro. Uh, here we go. Chris admitted God pretends we have free will when we really don't. That is verbatim locked. Brother Martin was also here to witness that. They were all here to witness that. <clears throat> yeah, I never wanted to be <laughs> in my life. <laughs> uh, uh, so, now so, he's trolling, uh, bro. He's trolling, y'all. Yeah, man. I know. Now he's well, trolling. Let's see but... if that's really Chris, because that could be a troll. So give me a yeah, second. It could be. Find hey, praise, uh, praise I am. Uh, have I won no, any debates on your Chris. channel? That'd be hilarious. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's probably not this even. This whole Chris. time it wasn't even listening. Yeah, the fastest debate ever won <laughs> ever on online YouTube. 
yeah, it's it says, Brother Mahler sounds really bad today. No, 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 no. no I'm not mad. Yeah, this sure, is me. It is the real Chris. Yeah, hey, well, that'd be, but that's that's funny. It's, it's it's delusion. But everybody knows. Everybody knows that. Including the people in in the in the actual chat. So I'm still waiting for you to debate uh, Brother Thomas. Remember you said you're going to br debate Brother Thomas on your topic, demons? Remember that? So we'll still wait for that debate to happen if you want to have it. But as soon as soon as we go through Romans 9, then that's what that's what you and I are going to discuss. So with that being said, now now that we have a, a complete rundown, let's go back to the, the main topic because Echo's here trying to get a grasp on this. And so my question to you guys is all the all the Calvinists here, be honest with you. Just to be honest with me, so I can be honest with you. Have you ever explored the other view, not the Arminian view? Not the Arminian view. Arminianism is Calvinism. The other view of when you treat <clears throat> soteriology, that topic individually. Have you ever looked at the other view? Well, there's either a Lutheran oh, or yeah. Jacob I used to be, I used to be a traditionalist know. before I became a Calvinist. Okay, and tell me, uh, just uh, tell me. About I used that, to listen to Leighton Flowers, bro. Like I was like out there. <laughs> you to, I think Leighton Flowers used to be a Calvinist. He's not anymore, but now he's a provisionist. That's just as dumb as Arminianism, Calvinism, blah blah. <laughs> to listen to Leighton Flowers. Yeah, that's how oh, out there man. I was. Oh yeah. Could you define the uh, other view? Crazy. Yeah, that statement, yeah. the statement that he says that, huh, praise it. He says he's, <laughs> he's to be out there with Lady Flowers. I know, that's why I know praise is here. <laughs> yeah, I love to watch Dr. James White just decimate Leighton Flowers. It's great. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I don't I don't know about that, bro. Are you Could are you uh, OSAS smaller? Are you one saved always say I'm sorry, my boy. Bro, are you serious yeah. right now? Sorry, that's my boy. Like by default, bro. By default. So so let's just establish some. Did the early church believe, or the, the early church fathers, did they believe what you believe? Who cares? Oh, yeah, the, the early church fathers of the Reformation, sure. The what? Uh, yeah. During the Reformation, I love this. So you don't even have the same definition of the early church fathers, Sky. Am I going to have to kick you off the stage here? So what you're going to uh, do? Yeah. So you know we're talking about, about Polycarp, Ignatian. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm asking Sky out. Do you know what I'm talking about or not? History. Okay, so then who am I talking about? I'm asking you straight up right now. Who am I well, talking there, about, Scott? There was John Calvin during the Reformation during the. 15th. All right, so everybody, say see you to Sky out. <laughs> no, no. Listen, anybody who gets kicked off this platform gets kicked off for one reason: no, when you on. lie. Don't lie, bro. Don't lie. You ain't got the lie to kick it. <laughs> yeah, no, you I are, bro. Listen, listen. listen. Listen, Chris, you literally told that to a room full of people. Mall acting like I'm learning when I asked him if he is Mall. So wouldn't it be great if he could spell Molinist correctly? This is really all egotism. Sky out got booted. Yeah, that wouldn't. I mean, if, if you ask for the truth. And then you ask a, a question of a Calvinist, you're almost guaranteed to get a lie. Almost. You said that you were learning this position. I'm not lying. It's okay. It's all right to learn something. You told me you learned other things. I told you I learned other things. I'm literally telling them I learned the other position. That's not a knock to you. You told us this in front of witnesses. And it's not enough. I'm simply telling you, I don't think you saw every angle. That's why when I went through John 6, and you had Ben going through John 6, Don quickly picked up I John 6, 44, exactly what I was saying. But Ben took him two days to figure it out. One hour 34. I'm just seeing if Sky Out got back in. Does not like it. Chris Lasala doesn't go in. Oh. 
Yeah. There goes out. It says Yahweh is a proper name. Human. I won't have to do this. I don't want to cool, do it. But we we the, we we discuss what the set is too about this topic, and mm -hmm. we our side we want the Catholic debate first. We just want yeah. Well, you you want the Catholic debate. You've already had the Catholic debate numerous times. I. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm surprised. I'm sorry I cut in, but yeah, Ma, I just want to say we're not running from those settings. Ask Ron and Mark. We we. Do oh, JP got destroyed. You discuss. We're open to discuss. It's just politics right now. We just we want we want, just we have our terms and until they're met. Nah, you don't have your terms, bro. Your terms, you guys, Sebas, by pure order, you have. He truly believes that, bro. So that's not, that's that's not what I'm saying. I themselves. think Chris is coming from a sincere place. I do believe that, but I just. So is Chris LaSala a Calvinist? Uh, and JP does call uh, Sky out a brother. What an idiot. Careful to convert to. Judaism because covenant to covenant. I mean, the Catholic Church is there from everything in the Mass leads back to all the Jewish oh, Catholic. Roots. So I don't know why you wouldn't want to become Catholic, bro. Wow. At what wow. point in the liturgy does why? the radar? No. And then you have scripture no. where Peter. This stream is a whole pile of Hawkum. <coughs> says I am just like the rest. It's not just that well, verse. It's, by uh, it's not that he can prove it, but it's their interpretation of history. Get our ducks lined up in terms of of what what we have commonality in, and that is in the end is we would preach. Yeah, yeah, that's where the tension is. I I do, but this is why I I, I can answer that. No, no, but you know what, Tim. Just. And they do not contradict. We don't right. fall asleep with a contradiction. Just to your point is Echo and even some other people. You, sir, just said both. It cannot be both. That is a contradiction. And this is the stuff, Muslim or not, that I can't allow people to tell me I can believe in. I, I could not do that without God. Of course. Okay, Everything that's not I my question, bro. Listen to God's my question, faith. Mumin, please. Did God did God say Mumin is going to eat this today, or did you decide to eat it and he just knows it? That's what I'm asking. He knows it, therefore he decrees it because I could not that, do it. Okay, that does decree. that uh, that doesn't follow me. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Vigilante made a true statement yesterday. Vigilante said that the problem with Muslims' view of determinism is they haven't quite worked it out. A lot of them don't know. No, we and that's, know. I'll be honest with you, is the truth. That statement you just made is a contradiction on its face. There's no, two words that you're using that you cannot flow together, and you keep doing it. You cannot okay, I'll say tell you that. the way it is. You are, you are basically... That's compatibilism, isn't it? He knows it, therefore he predetermined it, or something like that. The way is called underestimating God's knowledge. No, okay, you, can, you can... You can you, sir, just said both. It cannot be both. That is a contradiction. And this is the stuff, Muslim or not, that I can't allow people to tell me I can believe in. I struggled with this for a year plus. And then I said, what am I missing? What I'm missing is that from beginning to end of the text of the Bible, I know not your text, but my text, that's actually not what God is saying. And therefore, I have freedom to read the text and the scripture for what it says. God creates us with free will. He can intervene when he wants, and then he doesn't have to. And guess what? He can do that and still not violate what? Love, justice. Those are the, pure, those are the things that we know God actually judges us for, for the purity of our heart. And he can do it now in love and, and show true justice. Doesn't have to force you to do anything. That's my position. But, Tim, go ahead and answer the question maybe for Mumin you said you could answer. 
Yeah. So, so I was going to say, because a man reaps what he sows, the word of God makes it very clear that we reap what we sow. If we make a decision to do something, it comes back to us. Right. So God sets up, I think the arguments are within the mechanics. So like, I would say this as far as like Matthew six twenty six, where it talks about how God even provides food for the birds. Right. So he chooses what the birds eat and and he was using that conclusion to provisions for his creation that were much greater than he is. So I would say it, it's, it's almost like the fact of not necessarily where God, well, in a sense, if you're heart, if you're starving and you're hungry. And yeah, because the Calvinists probably realize, JP, that you're low hanging fruit in contradiction, uh, in contradistinction to what your view of yourself is. <laughs> That's why you're getting all the Calvinists coming over there you you're praying to god for provisions in that very instance then if god provides you with food he's chosen food for you that he knows you would eat does that make sense yeah it, no it makes sense i still believe it's a contradiction though huh okay yeah yeah i mean yeah i, yeah, I, I don't i don't i don't i don't think i don't I, I what i'm saying is to make this statement just Tim, so that we're clear in your position Muller, can i uh give me a recess for two minutes you're here bro i'm gonna go get some water yeah, yeah for sure all right so so let me just get this off Tim. you believe that god has decreed everything it, I believe God has decreed everything, but he's not in it like a robot controlling everyone to do everything. Like, okay, let me let me rephrase the question. Did God determine all things determined, including what you ate today? He, determined, he, he determined what you what choice you would make. Yes, I believe that. He determines the choice. So, so that is meticulous determinism, <coughs> which is just so wrong. So then he uses the, choice. the choices of men for his will. Okay, sense? no problem, no problem. Okay. That is the like he did with Pharaoh. Like he used Pharaoh's that he knew Pharaoh. He rose him up, knowing what Pharaoh was going to do. Pharaoh was going to harden his own heart. So God rose him up for the specific purpose, so that God would harden him and then show his power all throughout Egypt by by bringing the plagues. Yeah, but you're, so, you're what you're done is you're conflating two different things. What you've agreed to is that God determined that you were going to choose something. Yeah. Listen to that. Okay. That, but that's that's our argument. That, that, that's, totally, that's, 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 not that's not my position. Mumin, 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 I get it. Now I want you to step in. Mumin, do you believe that God determined your choice to eat what you were going to eat today? Yes or no? No, no. God, you know, we decide what we want to do, right? What we are going to do uh -huh. in this world. And God knows this with his perfect knowledge. This is what you're going to do. So I'm going to basically allow you to live this out in this worldly life. So everything we do is just basically an act of what he knows we are going to do. Right? And then because after if God... Yeah, well, that gives you an excuse to just do everything then, doesn't it? Like sky out. Dressing up like a woman. Judges us, right? People are going to complain saying, but I never did any of these things. And because of God knowing that, knowing his sense of justice, he lets us live it out. So then later on when he makes his judgment, nobody can complain. Nobody can say. Okay. So so a Calvinist really just Muslims in disguise. I think there's a connection there. Uh, Augustine and Islam. Uh, if I remember correctly, I'm sure it was Augustine. I don't know. So then you don't believe that God has determined. But that's not the. That's not. That wasn't Muhammad's position. Oh well, even that. Even before, we, even before we get to that, do you see how he's said now both things? In this conversation, Mumin has said two things. First, he said he decreed all things, therefore that's right. determined him. Now he's saying he's not. Then he said yeah, it's both. Yeah, see, that, so weird. so this is the issue, Tim, that I have to. That, that's, that not I that, that's not even. That's not even. I mean, that's not even his position, but I'll right. give Visual Anti credit. Visual Anti yeah. does filter out a little bit more yeah. Molinism within his view. But Mumin yeah. is saying two things that contradict. Even Tim admits that, and, and he's be a Calvinist. He'd say, bro, that doesn't fit. And that's not even uh, Muhammad's position. See, Farmer, what do you want to say? Yes, sir. Uh, one of the Adits says uh, God has decreed the uh, amount of fornication a man is going to do on earth. And if God has decreed <laughs> the amount of fornication he's going to do on earth, why is he sending them to hell? Okay, so can well, I, I mean, what well, that would be. This is what I was trying to say to you, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when God creates the soul, right? He knows already this soul, this is what he intends to do. This is what he would do in every possible scenario. God already knows this, right? And he can already make a judgment saying this soul can go to hell or this soul can go to heaven, right? But in the, in his sense of justice, you know, he, he allows this soul to live out exactly what he already knows, right? So it is determined, but it's determined based upon that soul. God is never unjust to anybody. God knows that soul better than the soul knows itself, you know, and he knows that soul. That's exactly what it's about, you know, so he so gives then, it. So ahead and ask him, Tim. Go ahead and yeah, ask and him. Let it out. Yeah, but I was going to say that still doesn't make any sense because then that means that God, you say that he has foreknowledge, but it's all dependent upon the creature. So what we would say is God is, if God is all knowing, there's no looking into the future, seeing what they're going to do and then learning about what they're going to do and then working accordingly. It's God puts them there knowing what they're going to do for a specific purpose and even guides their decisions to bring forth certain events that will attribute to his will here on earth. That's ultimately what our argument would be. And I think Moeller's catching on to because what you're saying, it, it does. It sounds like you're saying two entirely different things, my man. You know? Yeah, you, you are. And that's okay. It's a classic position that I've heard. I'm hearing it more from Muslims than I have from any category before. But go ahead, uh, uh, JP, did you want to say something? Because you just carried over and obviously that this debate carried over from your side. I'll, I'll pause this garbage. I'll show you this. 
This is called maypoleofwisdom.com. I just typed in Augustine. This is an absolute proof of anything. Written and collected by Zia H. Shah. He's got some sort of doctorate. Editor of the Muslim Times. Oh, there you are. Sorry. Maypole of Wisdom. Just type in it, Augustine in there. I'm not going to read all this, but I'm going to put a link to it though. All right, let's go back to this dribble. Yeah, I, I just want to say this. Look, let me just let the record show. I don't know if Ben is around, but I actually do love Ben uh, for the record. I do love Ben. We had a personal all right, yeah, yeah. homo. Okay. We did talk. We were getting close, but we haven't talked as of late. Uh, so I actually do like Ben. It did get heated, and well, I picked I my battles very well. I never debate Ben or Chris on demons. I will never do that. Maybe I will in two to three months, but it might get very ugly. But something I've learned, let me tell you guys something I've learned. <clears throat> Most of the people on my page, Moeller, do not support me. Of course not, but I told well, you that. Sure but about that. And I spoke to the transgender person. Gender, I said, believe me when I tell you this, everyone's going to take your side, and I'm going to be the enemy. Bro, at the end of that life, I didn't take a side. <laughs> you're a minority, and you're one of my guys. So obviously, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's obvious. But at the end of that show, that transgender person, Sky, was smiling so hard. Bro, I did a poll. Everybody said that the transgender won. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, thought, so, I thought you said your poll was messed up. Oh, oh yeah, no, your poll was messed up. Yeah. So the reality, the reality is this. When I host panels on the Trinity, most of the people are Trinitarians. When I talk about predestination, most people are pre pre Everything that I am not, people are. So I think I'm the only person. Look, Mola, look. You see Clay, yeah. the, you see Clay the, the JW? Highlight him. I'm going to give you an example. Click him. Wait, give me, me a second. Give me a second. I'm sorry. Sorry. Give me one second. Give me one second. I apologize. Yeah, clicking on something. I'm not to catch out. MJ the GOAT. Yeah, I would agree. But before he was the goat, you had to actually have a position to show that he was the goat or not. So, so that's who just did you it. He was the goat, or who did you like? <laughs> what do you mean? Jordan? Before it was Jordan, but it was somebody else. But sides of it, Echo kind of sees that he has to chalk it up as a mystery. Tim is not so clear that that position is within itself. Like I said, I think you're still in the same position where you have to accept that both are true. And if you have to accept that both are true in a sense, then I just believe you're accepting a, it's an, it's accepting a contradiction. That's what, that's that's simply what I know I can eventually get you to admit. The question is, is it possible that the scripture teaches something else? Is it possible, in your view, Tim, to allow that? How about Echo? Is it possible that the it scripture not, teaches it something no, else? No, it's, it's not possible. In my <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just asking. But because you guys do realize that for hundreds upon hundreds of years, it was not only possible, it was regularly practiced and talked about. You guys realize that, right? Well, I'm just saying, you guys are aware of that. So, for instance, uh, I'm not as an orthodox. I'm not as an orthodox knows that this wasn't taught at all. Nobody taught this position. Or were, were you more towards the Armenian conditionalist, semi-Pelagian side? Or? Yeah, oh, Pelagius. Uh, the one I'm really sorry, the what? That, that sounds like where you're coming from. Yeah, I, I, the what? You know what I'm saying, my boy? Like, no, I'm not I don't know. I don't know what you're my saying. My boy, semi-Pelagian. Oh, what was it he said? Let's just go back 10 seconds. This is sky out, bottom right. And talked about. You guys realize that, right? I'm just saying. You guys are aware of that. So, for instance, uh, I'm not as an Orthodox. I'm not as an Orthodox knows that this wasn't taught at all. Nobody taught this position. Or were you more towards the Armenian conditionalist, semi-Pelagian side? Or? Yeah. Armenian conditionalist, semi-Pelagian. So, so, oh, Arminianism is Calvinism. Oh, yeah, because oh. Pelagius is the one. I, I'm really sorry, the what? That, that sounds like you where you're know coming from. Yeah, I, 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 the what? You know what I'm saying, my boy? Like, cause no, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. You don't know what you're saying. No, I, I don't. I don't know what you're saying. So my uh, question is to you. My question is to you. Who's the one who came is, up with free will? Who's the one that? So, so you're telling me, you're telling me, Pelagius came up with free will? Yeah, yeah. It's a semi-Pelagian against monergism. Uh, guys, 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 that. guys. Who's speaking right now? Not only you can. Now we're introducing monergism. <sighs> Categorically wrong. You have no idea what you're talking about. Pelagius didn't come up with free will. Okay, it's taught not only all over the scripture, but the very patristics teach it. I agree. It's our okay. So then, if you agree, then stop saying Pelagius came up with free will. You just no, made no, a statement that doesn't happen. Well, Pelagius, Pelagius different theological uh, position. Yeah. Okay. Well, well I don't. I'm not subscribing to Pelagius. You just said he created the, free the will. The only so people I believe that, that ever had free will in God's word, like when, when we talk about, see, this is the thing. We just have to define free will. What do we mean by free will? It means well, the ability to choose God, right? Ultimately, is that was that what you're well, saying? Well, I mean, or, ultimately, that's the only thing that matters to me. 
Okay, so so then that would be the argument. So, so but I see these many arguments about choosing what to wear or choosing what to eat or choosing, you know what I'm saying? So the no, 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 thing, no, but that argument comes into play, Tim, because you tell me that he determines what to wear and what to eat. If you didn't say that, I wouldn't go there. But you well, do say our, that. But we do believe God provides for us food every single day, right? No, but does he determine what you are going to eat before you eat it? Do you see how we well, can't it, advance past this position? Because there's different people that see it differently. So let me just ask right. the question directly. Before you were born, did he determine what you ate today? Or <laughs> Did he create you and let you choose it? He provided it. He, he provides for his children. Yes. Do you he see, providing is not the same thing as determining or choosing but if what he you're provides it. He provides it. For he us provides oxygen. He provides a lot of things. Mm -hmm. That's so not we're, asking. Yeah. we're still what talking Calvinism, right? We're still talking it. He, Just he, to make sure. Those yeah. Calvinists. I yeah, love to explain it to you, Mahler, how free will and God's sovereign decree work together. I have many examples in Scripture, and I love love to share it with you, brother. You know, yeah. Before you do, pray. Yeah, I, well, uh, with all that? due respect, with all due respect, we, we can have we can have uh, we can have a conversation about it later. But I don't want it to be a repeat of what of what you and JP already talked about. Okay, because I oh, think no, people sure. got that chunk of it already. Sure. sure so, sure. so that's what I always say. It's come to your channel because they what? Look at what Chris said, bro. People come to your channel because they like your personality. They will, vote, they will vote that you won debates if you had the biblical position. So, Chris, let me ask you a question. If you had a channel where 800 people were Trinitarian alone, they were only Trinitarian. and you, uh, They like his big-headedness, I would say. <laughs> you got in a debate against a Trinitarian. <clears throat> and you put in a poll. You think you would win that? Like, come so on. I, I mean, <clears throat> he's popular with the Calvinists because they're egoic. Egotistical. So is JP. Yeah, of course they like uh, JP, and they actually probably, and this is an assumption, they probably think, and I would agree with them. He's low hanging fruit for the Calvinist. They're actually convinced that they can make him become a Calvinist. Of course, but, but of course, he wouldn't say he won that, dude, because. Yeah. He always, but because so he always says that he says the audience is biased. So I don't understand your the the, the, yeah, the he's point. He's trying to say that my audience isn't biased. Like Chris, you're really reaching, bro. Uh, yeah, and, but but he makes the argument that audience. Last time he says, if I have it, if we have it on your channel, I would expect that people would vote that way. And I said, bro, you don't know the audience. And not only that, I said you you might win against Shamar because there's more people that go there to see that position lose. Everybody knows that Calvinism is all over YouTube. They dominate the space. That's a fact. That's an absolute fact. Nobody denies that. I'm and yeah, Tim will say it. Kind of, Chris, this is some kind of delusion. Because it's like, yeah, bro, it does, like, but it doesn't it doesn't really matter. It doesn't change the position. So here's the position. Tim, what you ate today, did God determine what you were going to eat? Or did he determine to give you free will so that you could choose what to eat? He determined the food that I would eat today by making it my choice. Does that make sense? Okay. okay. So then you believe what I believe. God gave you free will to choose what you were going to eat today. When you say, see, here's the thing though, like what, like the argument is for free will is we believe that. Hey, hey yo, praise will. I am. Did you hear that? Tim just said that he believes that God gave him free will to choose what he was going to eat today. Oh can my I, God. Can I, can I, can I, can I, bro, bro, can I, 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 because uh, well, so, just to say, you know, I would say GP would win a vote on his channel. They aren't voting for him because the position is nearly impossible to defend. Well, it's not the it's not impossible to defend. Uh, we've defended it multiple times, bro. So, um, and you've been there, so you're still learning Calvinism. I'll be Chris, honest. From what I hear, bro, Chris, I'll from just what say, I've heard you, Chris, from what I've heard, you've gotten fried multiple <laughs> times in, in, in Discord discussions. That's what I'm hearing. That's the word around the block. Can I? So, if I'm gonna be honest with you, Chris, why does Chris, Chris, if I'm be honest with you, Chris, I would say your position is harder to defend than mine. And secondly, yeah. stop saying that my crowd isn't biased because they are. So th I think that's the end of it. The discussion should be this. Is my crowd biased against me? Yes, they are. Yeah, of course they are. Everybody so knows the that, fact though. that Chris is yeah. pushing this narrative that they're not. But, it's look, but even people guess that pull up, they already know they're pulling up to a Calvinist friendly environment, even sometimes a straight up heretic friendly environment and JP's yeah. channel. I don't know about and, and, then, and then you have Chris saying, <laughs> I have never straight seen up. you disprove my position, Mahler, once. I take it out the friend zone. Everyone's getting dropped like Shamar. What? What? What was that? I've never, that? He said you never I have never seen you disprove my position, Muller. What do you mean? I literally got you to disprove your own position. I we're we're there. We have plenty of yeah. Uh, highlight to that, that one about highlight that one about Shamar, uh, Chris. Right. JP there. was mocking Shamar yes, after I debated I him, saying he got destroyed. I said that Shamar was too timid. He didn't have the swag. He didn't have the style. He was too laid back. 
And so just, just like reason, you asserted, but remember, Chris, remember though, remember uh, in your position, because you said that you were still learning this position. So I hope you're still learning it. Okay. That's what you told us. This is words from your mouth. In those, in those conversations on discord, you were learning something. Yo, yo, real quick, sky out. Can you cut the cam, man? I don't need you to be puffing cigarettes, bro. Cut the cam, bro. Come on. Be respectful. <clears throat> Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. So here's the point, Chris. If we're having a conversation in those conversations, your argument was that you believed a certain belief and you were still working that out, that both are true. Similarly, when I'm questioning Tim right now, he was giving and he is giving the same the answers that you're giving. And I'm telling you, by that rationale, your system doesn't hold. We, we plainly demonstrated that to you over and over. And that, those were the conversations. So those conversations ended with you not being able to give a solid answer. That's it. But if you want Shamar's, Shamar's there, you can pull up now. You're still in the Discord. Pull up and we could all witness witness your conversation with them. Just promise me I'll get a front row seat to see you you and Young Don debate these guys, man. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, but, yeah. but we can but, – but the debate, honestly, has already happened multiple times. Yo, Chris, you guys never had a cook you 10 out of 10 times. Mullet. We're working things out, including you, but I cook you 10 out of 10 times any day. You know it? Chris, you're, oh. you're telling me you cooked me? Bro, it's, is anybody in this comments here believe that Chris Lasala would cook me on a debate on what you said out of your own mouth, Chris? You said out of your own mouth that you just started learning Calvinism. That was out of your mouth. That's I what you Chris said. Wins with the demons. Yeah. I don't even I don't even that's that's not my topic. According to Chris's view, he believes God determined everybody to have millions of demons, then determines him to cast out demons, but to still leave millions in Christians. So by that rationale, I don't want to argue that. I'm just going to let that stay where it stays. But, bro, you are delusional if you think you've cooked me in any debate. In any debate. Especially on your topic of eternity. When you couldn't answer anything philosophically that made sense about your view of time and eternity. So, Chris, with all due respect, bro, don't he do says that. He he knows the Bible 50 times better than you. If he knows the Bible 50 times better than me, then tell him to prove it right now. We'll clear the room and we'll go to Romans 9. And we're going to hear him exegete Romans 9. Yeah, we'll see how that went last time. How about your John chapter 6? Okay. So uh, uh, who are the witnesses? That's the great part. Numerous witnesses. Numerous witnesses that watch. And not even me. I let the little homies get at you. The little homies were cooking you. That's what, that's what happened. So you need to stop, bro. Come pulling up in the channel. I've never said anything to you about any... Oh, little homies did he. He's the big homie, the big tamale. <sighs> But you think you cook me on 10 out of 10 debates, bro? Bro, not only is that laughable, Crazy. nobody believes that. Because my little homie got on to debate you. And my little homie had you stuck multiple times. Where do you think these dudes learned all that? Yeah, from you, of stop, course. Uh, here we go. Chris admitted God pretends we have free will when we really don't. That is verbatim locked. Brother Martin was also here to witness that. They were all here to witness that. Yeah, I never wanted to be in my never life. Uh, so, <laughs> now he's trolling, uh, bro. He's trolling y'all. Yeah, I know. Now he's well, trolling. Let's see but... if that's really Chris, because that could be a troll. So give me. Yeah, a it could be. Hey, praise, uh, praise. I am. Uh, have I won any debates on your Chris. channel? That'd be hilarious. That's bro. what I'm saying. It's probably not this even. This whole Chris. time it wasn't even the yeah, yeah. <laughs> fastest debate ever won <laughs> ever on online YouTube. <laughs> oh yeah, it's hilarious. It says brother Mueller sounds really bad today. No, 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 no. I'm not mad. This is the real Chris. Yeah, well, I mean, but that's that's funny. It's, it's it's delusion, but everybody knows. Everybody knows that, including the people in in the in the actual chat. So I'm still waiting for you to debate, uh, Brother Thomas. Remember, you said you're going to debate Brother Thomas on your topic, demons. Remember that. So we'll still wait for that debate to happen if you want to have it. But Christmas. as soon as soon as we go through Romans nine, then that's what that's what you and I are going to discuss. So with that being said, now now that we have a, a complete rundown, let's go back to the the main topic because Echo's here trying to get a grasp on this. And so my question to you guys is all the, all the Calvinists here, be honest with you, just to be honest with me. So I can be honest with you. Have you ever explored the other view, not the Arminian view, not the Arminian view, the other view of when you treat soteriology, that topic individually, have you ever looked at the other view? Well, there's either a Lutheran or oh, yeah. a I used, to be, I used to be a traditionalist before I became a Calvinist. Okay. And tell just tell me. About I used that, to listen to Lane Flowers, bro. Like I was like out there. <laughs> you used to listen to Leighton Flowers. Yeah, that's how out there I was. <laughs> Could you define the uh, that's other crazy. view? Yeah, that yeah. Statement, the statement that he says that how huh, crazy he says he used to be out there with Leighton Flowers. <laughs> I know that's why I know praises here. <laughs> I love to watch Dr. 
Dr. James White just decimate Leighton Flowers. It's great. Yeah, uh, I don't I don't know about that, bro. Are you are you uh, OSAS a smaller? Are you one safe? Always say I'm sorry, my boy. Bro, are you serious yeah. right now? Sorry, that's like by default, bro. By default. So so let's just establish something. Did the early church believe or the, the early church fathers, did they believe what you believe? Um, oh yeah, the, the early church fathers of the Reformation, sure. The what? Uh, during the Reformation, I love this. So you don't even have the same definition of the early church fathers, guy. Am I gonna have to kick you off the stage here? So what you're gonna so, do? Yeah, so you know we're talking about polycarbonate during the. Nation. Nation. No, 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 no. I'm asking oh, Sky out. Do you know what I'm talking about or not? History. Okay, so then who am I talking about? I'm asking you straight up right now. Who am I talking there, about, Sky? There was John polycarbonate during the. No, no, the what? Uh, during the Reformation, I love the early church believe or the the early church father. Are you one second? always say i'm sorry my boy bro are you serious yeah. right now sorry that's like by default bro by default so so let's just establish them did the early church believe or the the early church fathers did they believe what you believe um, oh yeah the, the early church fathers the reformation sure the what uh during the reformation i love this so you don't even have the same definition of the early church fathers guy am i gonna have to kick you off the stage here so what you're gonna so, do yeah so we're talking about polycarbonate nation during the no, no 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 i'm asking sky out do you know what i'm talking about or not history Okay, so then who am I talking about? I'm asking you straight up right now. Who am I well, talking there, about, Sky? There was John Calvin during the Reformation. During the All right. Century. So everybody, say see you to Sky out. <laughs> no, no. Listen, anybody who gets kicked off this platform gets kicked off for one reason. No, when you on. lie. Don't lie, bro. Don't lie. You ain't got to lie to kick it. <laughs> yeah, no, you no, are, bro. No. Listen, listen. Listen, Chris, you literally told that to a room full of people. You said that you were learning this position. I'm not lying. It's okay. It's a right to learn something. You told me you learned other things. I told you I learned other things. I'm literally telling them I learned the other position. That's not a knock to you. You told us this in front of witnesses. And it's not a knock. I'm simply telling you, I don't think you saw every angle. That's why when I went through John 6 and you had Ben going through John 6, Don quickly picked up John 6, 44, exactly what I was saying. But then took a I'll pause this a minute. I'm going to do something. I've got to download that short video. two days to figure it out because you can't see the other side that's before i became a calvinist okay and tell me just tell me about I used that, to listen i've just made a short video of this it's epic not gloating but it is epic <laughs> flowers bro like, I was like, I was. <laughs> you used to listen to latent flowers yeah that's how out there i was <laughs> Could you define the uh, other view? Crazy. Yeah, that yeah. Statement, the statement that he says that, huh, praise that he says he's, he used to be out there with Leighton Flowers. I know, that's why I know praise is here. <laughs> yeah, I love to watch Dr. James White just decimate Leighton Flowers. It's great. Yeah, uh, I don't I don't know about that, bro. Are you, are you uh, OSAS smaller? Are you one safe to always say? I'm sorry, my boy. Bro, are I'm you serious right well. now? Sorry, that's like by default, bro. bro. By default. So, so let's just establish something. Did the early church believe or the, the early church fathers, did they believe what you believe? Um, oh yeah, the, the early church fathers of the Reformation. So by default, bro. By default, yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't know about that, bro. Are you, are you, uh, OSAS the smaller? Are you one safe? Always say I'm sorry, my boy. Bro, are you serious yeah. right now? Sorry, that's like by default, it, bro. bro. By default. So, so let's just establish them. Did the early church believe, or the the early church fathers? Did they believe what you believe? Um, oh yeah, the, the early church fathers of the Reformation. Sure. The what? Uh, during the Reformation, I love this. So you don't even have the same definition of the early church fathers, guy. Am I going to have to kick you off the stage here? So what you're going to so, do? Yeah, you're so talking about polycarbonate nation during the No, 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 no. I'm asking Sky out. Do you know what I'm talking about or not? History. Okay, so then who am I talking about? I'm asking straight up right now. Who am I talking there, about, Sky? There was John Calvin during the Reformation during the. All right. So I'm asking Sky out. Do you know what I'm talking? about? So you don't even have the same the, the early church fathers. Did they Are you one safe? Always say I'm sorry, my boy. <laughs> I love to watch Doctor James White just death. I wish people would give over with that my boy stuff. Don't come in my studio giving it that. I will boot you out immediately. Not that anybody is particularly keen to come in my studio anymore. I don't care. It doesn't mean much. Estimate Leighton Flower. It's great. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't I don't know about that, bro. Are you are you uh, OSAS the smaller? Are you, are you one safe? Always say I'm sorry, my boy. Bro, are you serious yeah. right now? Sorry, That's boy, like by default, it. bro. By default. So, so let's just establish some. Did the early church believe, or the, the early church fathers, did they believe what you believe? Um, oh, yeah. The, the early church fathers of the Reformation, sure. The what? Uh, during the Reformation, I love this. So you don't even have the same definition of the early church fathers, guy. Am I going to have to kick you off the stage here? <laughs> so what you're going to so, do?
yeah, you know talking about polycarbonation during the No, 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 no. I'm asking Sky out. Do you know what I'm talking about or not? History. Okay, so then who am I talking about? I'm asking you straight up right now. Who am I well, talking there, about, Sky? There was John Calvin during the Reformation during the. All right, so everybody, say see you to Sky out. Wow. Nah, no. Listen, anybody who gets kicked off this platform gets kicked off for one reason: no, when you on. lie. Don't lie, bro. Don't lie. You ain't got the lie to kick it. <laughs> yeah, well, you I are, bro. Like listen, 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 Chris. You literally told that to a room full of people. You said that you were learning this position. I'm not lying. It's okay. It's all right to learn something. You told me you learned other things. I told you I learned other things. I'm literally telling them I learned the other position. That's not a knock to you. You told us this in front of witnesses. And it's not a knock. I'm simply telling you, I don't think you saw every angle. That's why when I went through John 6 and you had Ben going through John 6, Don quickly picked up John 6, 44, exactly what I was saying. But Ben took him two days to figure it out. Because you can't see the other side. That's not a knock, bro. But stop talking about 10, 10 for 10 in debates. The little homie debated you, bro. The little homie did. That's all I'm saying. And by the way, he wants to debate you again. So if you want to set that one up, you can. Mola, did you say homie, I don't know if I asked you if I'm That's Shamar. Homie. That's Shamar. Oh, that's the debate that's on the channel. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, I got to see that. Shamar. Did you say I don't know if I asked you if I'm a Molinist? What is this learning garbage? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I don't know who's, who's, who's saying that. If what? Mahler, did you say I don't know if I asked you if I'm a Molinist? What? What is this learning garbage? You said that you were still learning the position. That's what you said. I'm just quoting what you said. Because so when we asked we, you, when we asked you how, how you squared it, <laughs> look, this is another one. And they need to send a blow up that dome of the rock. My it's it, it's uh it's crazy. It's gone all over there with breeze, bro. Yeah, exactly. Look at this. Look at this. The early church fathers of the Reformation. Exactly. What a joke. What a joke. Like, stop playing. We can get rid of all. Six. Don quickly picked up John six forty four. Exactly what I was saying. But Ben took him two days to figure it out. Because you can't see the other side. That's not a knock, bro. But stop talking about 10, 10 for 10 in debates. <laughs> the little homie debated you, bro. The little homie did. That's all I'm saying. And by the way, he wants to debate you again. So if you want to set that one up, you can. Mola, did you say homie, I don't know if I asked you if I'm That's Shamar. Homie. That's Shamar. Oh, that's Shamar? the debate that's on the channel. Yeah. What was that? Yeah, I got to that. Shamar. Mola, did you say I don't know if <laughs> I asked you if I'm a Molinist? What is this learning garbage? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I don't know what he's, who's, who's, who's saying that. If what? Mahler, did you say I don't know if I asked you if I'm a Molinist? What? What is this learning garbage? You said that you were still learning the position. That's what you said. I'm just quoting what you said. Because when we asked you, when we asked you how, how you squared it, <clears throat> look, this is another Blow up that dome of the rock. It's it, it's uh it's crazy. It's gone all over there with praise, bro. Yeah, exactly. Look at this. Look at this. The early church fathers of the Reformation. Exactly. What a joke. What a joke. Like, stop playing. We can't get rid of all the denominations. We can't throw out all the false doctrines. It's absolutely true, but you got to go to scripture to do it. You got you got to use all passages. You can't you can't do a part of it. When, when I, I asked you me, if you were a Molinist, did you not have it ironed out? Yes or no? I'm not a Molinist is what I told you. Then you asked me, how does the view work? And I said, I don't have it worked out. I don't know. But let me ask you a question, Chris. How is God omnipresent? Don't worry. We're going to wait. Chris, question stands. How is God omnipresent? How is he everywhere and in one place all at the same time? Are you going to answer the question, Chris? He doesn't believe that? I'm asking him to explain something. All right. So Chris doesn't know how God is omnipresent. So, welcome to my world. We're not talking about that. We're talking about your system. You claim that God, God gives you the free will but determines everything. That is a contradiction. Krios. Look, look, this is the sort of statements that when we talk, you say, and I say, that cannot be a real statement. He's omnipresent because all things hold together in him. You're begging the question with your answer. That doesn't, that's not, that doesn't make sense. Yes, and this is what we told you. You give us answers but they're contradictions, or they're simply begging the actual point. That's the point. Do you remember this conversation? And you said, yeah, well, maybe I don't have that worked out there. That's what you said. And we were okay with that answer. 
But don't come here and start to say 10 out of 10 stuff, bro. You don't have to say that. Yeah, well, if you want to go with the Bible says, we can do that. But for now, we want to stick on this point just, just so that we know. So I'm not. You said that. Oh, wait a minute. Musa. Musa. You, you're, you're here for Chris, just you, pull up to the stream, Chris. <laughs> Musa. Yeah, you, come Musa. on, Chris. I want to see this. Hey, Chris, this man is clearly. Bro, if Ooh. anybody were to ever call me out like that, bro. Like the way that Muller's calling me. Well, Muller's not calling you out. You're just talking away. But you should pull up, bro. Yeah, I mean. Beat me oh, ten, no, no, no. Up. That's, that's not in the future. When have you? When have you? That's that's my point. And I see the tension. I know where the tension was. I can see what's happening, bro. So if you if you think that there's there's tension, there's not tension, bro. Because every time you've ever pulled up in BC and I asked you a question about this, that, or the other, okay. If you never tried, then so then so here we go. There's the first one. You never tried to do what? Didn't he just say earlier he beat me ten out of ten, but now he never tried? I thought you beat me ten out of ten. So what? Which is it, bro? Did you ever try, or did you beat me ten out of ten? That's the difference, bro. The difference is that when I'm in a room, I have witnesses. And I have witnesses to... Yeah, so there you go. By the way, one of the witnesses that has been in the room. You said earlier you beat me 10 out of 10. Now you say you haven't tried. So which is it, bro? Did you beat me 10 out of 10 or did you never try? No, Jacob. No, Jacob. We're not supporting transgenderism now, bro. Just throw them <laughs> I just said 10 out of, uh, out of 10 times was I would beat you. No, no, no. You said earlier that you did. Unless I'm crazy. But if you didn't, I'll retract. So anyways, let's move on. With with uh, Musa, you said you were you were mentioning something. So you because of the topic, be Muslim. You said, but I cook you ten out of ten times. I I am a Christian. Uh, I just like the name Musa. Um, but I I uh, was saying I probably could harmonize what Tim is saying. Um, Go I'm for a, it. I'm a Calvinist, but I I come from the perspective. I don't know if it's been mentioned already, but the perspective of our our reality is like Hamlet and God is Shakespeare, where God's the author, and we're the book He's written. So in the book we have a quote-unquote free will. However, it's a free will he's written. Just like when Shakespeare's writing Hamlet, Hamlet in the book, quote-unquote, has a free will in the book, but not as the same as Shakespeare. It just so happens that in this book, Shakespeare's entered into his own book, which God has done through Jesus Christ. He's become a character, which is the Yahweh we deal with in the Old Testament to now. That's my perspective. But I think that kind of that, though. That harmonizes the idea... Intervene. Yeah, like that harmonizes, I think, kind of the idea that in this reality, it appears we have a free will, but it's not a free will that the author, which is God, has. God has the ultimate free will. We have a kind of just like you read a book in the so book. There's your, real quick, Musa, real quick. There's your statement, but I cook you 10 out of 10 times. So there's your statement. There's your statement. In fact, I can pull up the little homies and watch them cook you, Chris. I wonder what it happened. means we are all working things out, including you. What does that mean? I don't know. He's talking about Molinism when he doesn't understand literally what I just asked him. I asked him how's God so on he, present. He says and, you're a Molinist, correct? Yeah, well, no, that's what he pretends to. He does what Ben does. Ben goes in and research, researches something and goes, the Armenian view, and I'm not an Arminian. So they want to pig. I, you, I've literally heard from, from Chris over and over say that this is a position that he adopted recently, and that's okay. So I already did, and I went back and showed you. Everybody saw it, bro. So just chill now. All right, so what's that? It, it, it didn't, it, your, your, your explanation, I'll be honest with you, didn't make any sense, bro. You just said he writes a book. So well, what's the point in him writing the book? So I thought he was going to go to Psalm one one uh, 139 and talk about yeah. how David had talked about that. That's okay. kind of one verse I would use the whole he writes a, he writes his story before any of his days are. He already has written it. Um, uh -huh. 139, 16. Yeah. But you mm -hmm. asked the question that is, why would God do it? And I kind of see some people in the chat saying the same thing. But why would God do what? You said, I, forgive me if I'm mistaken. You said, mm -hmm. why Why is he writing the book? Or what's the point of the book? Or why is God no, I doing I never said that. I never oh, said that. That's what Tim would say. Say, why would he do that? Why would he write something, where, write a book, where somebody would die and not be in heaven, essentially, with Tim was saying. Oh, and I said no. the same reason when you have a child. You have a child because you want to love that child. But yet you know that child's going to suffer. Yet you know that child's going to break a bone. Yet you know that child's going to be depressed. And you still choose to do it. That child can potentially die before you, but you still choose to do it. Why? Because of love, same motivation. So God, in the same motivation to love his creation, even though he knows some of his creation is not going to choose him, it's still love. It's still free-willed and operates and works. Wow. So you Look said what Chris said. So you may said, never pull up again. So you said my uh my position didn't make any sense. Do you want to question it so I can probably add something? Oh, don't do that, Chris. You want to talk? Let's talk, bro. Don't start saying you ain't never gonna do this, do that, bro. You don't gotta do that, bro. Okay. You you admitted before that this was this was not your area of expertise. If you now feel it is, then that's fine, bro. But don't start acting like you can't pull up or we're mad at each other because you know that ain't true. Wait, what's this? Wait a minute, Mar, you got that? 
from Wayne Groom Systematic Theology book. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've heard yeah. this explanation. So yeah, let me just ask you this, yep. Musa. Yes, Your sir. explanation of it is that God writes it. So does yes. God determine what you're going to do before you do it? Yes, he wrote that I would choose this thing. Essentially saying he determined that I would make that choice. Yes. Okay. So then if he determined that you would make that choice, therefore you didn't choose it, and he's determined every choice that same fashion. Correct. He determined what you were going to eat before you were going to eat. Okay. So if he's determined all things, right, mm -hmm. then you're not a synergist, right? You don't. You, do you believe that you still have free will in any way, shape, or form? The free will I have is... So that's what I said. The free will I have is if you would look at, that's why I use the book example because it helps me think about this. The free will I have is the same free will Hamlet has after Shakespeare has written him. Then he doesn't have free will, bro. So, so all then, I'm saying then, is... Then, then all, if your definition I'm, of free will yeah, is that, then yes, I don't have free will. It depends on the definition of free will. Well, yeah, yeah. So just, saying, so just and, and freedom. Yeah, go ahead. That's what I was trying to say because... Let me, let me define it. I can define it if you guys yeah, want. I, I sure. would just say the only people who have free will are those in Christ Jesus who have the ability to make a choice now that they're free from the power of sin. They're not slaves of darkness anymore. I, I would dis, I would disagree at that point because even still the ability to choose Christ or you choosing Christ is something that God had wrote that you would do as you being a character. Well, what I mean by that is what, what, the argument of free will is never the secondary it was never the product of secondary issues except outside of salvation like that's the upfront now if we get into like these distinct arguments yeah we can get into these distinct arguments every day do you choose this do you choose that but overall the historical battle has always been it's really always been total depravity and election really those are the two mm -hmm. primary doctrines that have been debated Correct. so so it's about salvation does god does man choose god is it synergism because then that's mean that means that man has to do something in, in a dual effort with god in order to be saved so monergism would say no we're saved by grace through faith, but God has to give man the grace and the faith in order to open up his eyes to receive and to accept the gospel. So that, that that's our argument. So that that's why I, when oh, I, when okay, I understand gotcha, what you're saying. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So so at least what Tim is admitting today, Echo and Musa, because you guys seem to kind of be on the fence whether you would go straight with determinism, meaning he determines all things. All no, your no, I, I would I would be on that. I'd say he determines it. My my thing is the way he determines someone does something is. Like I said, there's different mechanics. He, right, there's the mechanics of it. He wrote that that person would do it in a like, yeah. But do you see? But do you see why you're? What well, all I'm explaining to you guys is, if you guys believe that he determines everything, just stick to it. There's no need for you to say there's free will at all. I think yeah, that I you don't guys. Believe, I don't I believe think, there's any free will. Okay, so then if there's no free will, then when I say did God determine what you were going to eat today, it should be an emphatic yes. Therefore, well, God determines salvation. Therefore, he determines well, yes, damnation but we, but, and everything. But we got to, but we got to explain it because then we can get into like pedophiles and rapists and crazy stuff. And we stuff can like define, that. we can define what like we're using. But, but what do we have like one of, yeah. like one of like the biggest Calvinists in history, R.C. Sproul, like when as far as saying that God's working in rapists and murderers and Satan himself, like to do like that. That's the stuff that we, I get into, and I'm like, okay, because we have to redefine our terms. We have to define our terms, or else okay, we're gonna, but, Calvinists but, find but, themselves in that conundrum where right. they can't answer questions. Okay, so know? let me ask you this: So you're afraid of saying that he determines all things, including the rape? Is that the issue as to why you that you don't think he actually determines the rape or does he? But I would explain to you what I mean mm -hmm. if because if I say yes, then people are like, <gasps> but no, but that's I, that's but that's what I'm saying. But I don't think would have a problem with that position exactly. because Nobody his statement would. will say that ultimately God's supreme goodwill will come to pass in the mm -hmm. end, anyways. So all evil things eventually are for his good. But so let me let me, course, let me let me let me let me tell you this though. Act has a purpose. It's not meaningless evil. Okay, nobody says that though. But hold on a second. This is what I'm trying to appeal to you guys. Tim Echo Musa. Right, or whoever else is Calvinist, J James White has a bone to pick with you guys. He literally doesn't like that you guys may be holding and calling yourself Calvinist when somebody oh, like um, uh, RC Spro or, or not RC Spro, but the other guy, the guy we were just talking. About. I've just finished um, uploading short video. Sky out stupidity. About the older preacher, he would emphatically say yes, would not deny, would not hesitate. God, he determines everything. There's not a problem. I have no issue saying. Okay. Why, if, no, 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 no. This is my point. That's the, the relevant point. We're, we're, we're disagreeing. Okay. And, and also, the, it's how you try and reconcile the different verses in Scripture. People may pull, like, why are they <laughs> able to talk or converse in a certain way? Why are they?
be able to do this, that's how you start breaking down, okay, God's free will different than the creation in the book's free will. That's, so that's all. But I can say easily God determined everything. So if it's God true. determined everything, then did he determine it. what you were going to eat today? Yes. And I would say yes. He provided right. food for if me. You want the simple no, yes. you see Tim? You see Tim? He's answering a different question. I didn't ask you if he's No, I'm just food. giving you the mechanics of how he determined it. He just wants a simple answer, Tim. We got to just say yes. Yes, yes. Is, oh, that's all you want to yes or no? Listen, listen. This is what we call I, it. This, I, is, I, what I, call I, it. this I, is what we call I, it. You're a diet Calvinist. I gave you a molar last time, bro. No, 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 no. You're a diet Calvinist. You're a diet Calvinist. I'm not a diet Calvinist, bro. I'm not. Yeah. I, I okay, then if you're not, the, then the statement should be absolutely. I can explain how he determined it, I, and he doesn't not, do it the same way I, every single time. Okay, I don't think well, Mo is asking us to explain it. He just wants the yes, and I think that's okay. And it's not. It's not yes. just yeah. a yes. It's not just a yes. It doesn't matter if he does it. However, he does it. In the end, you're still saying yes. yes. What I'm trying to tell you is, when I've argued with Calvinists, Calvinists do not deny this, but you guys, a different generation of Calvinists, are denying it. You don't outright. I'm not denying it. I say yes. Okay. He determined everything. Then it doesn't matter the mechanics. He does it. But the go. reason why I'm bringing up the mechanics is because you are. You're talking about I'm not bringing up each day. mechanics. We, Every, we, okay, 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 sure. What I'm talking about when is salvation up, we can explain in the realm of predestination. I, I would love to stick to salvation, but the problem is salvation is one huge decision that you would agree God determines. But there's people out there that say that's the only thing he determines, not the other oh, stuff. No, no. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but why do we focus account. on the other stuff? Why not focus oh, on the soteriology? Because I have to determine whether you really mean what you mean. You don't understand, okay. like literally and then we daily. Can get into the arguments over the soteriology because that that's a biblical argument. We can go back and forth. Okay, if that's a biblical argument you want to make, then now I understand that you guys believe that God determines all things. Yeah, all things. Doesn't well, matter the mechanics; He determines everything. No, no, he, but I, I always explain the mechanics because then people start because then people jump to, to straw men about what we believe. Like God, bro, in, I, like, who has ever God's straw a puppet string master? I feel like I feel like that's the argument bring, you're trying you, to make. you bring out the mechanics when scriptures open. So when people bring out specifics in scripture, that's when you bring up the specifics. Okay, and how agree, God's done it. agree. Right. But I actually but got right a straw now, man. You, I actually got a straw man. You, in order for you to say, I'm scared that you're going to straw man me. Correct. So I have a straw man to this one. Yeah. All right. So I understand the fear and the trepidation. I don't struggle. Yeah, because I, I try we not deal to. with that a lot, bro. Oh no, I get it. I get it. But I don't. I don't do that. We try not to do that. So the, yeah. uh, just a good way to argue. The mechanics don't matter if he's ultimately deciding all of your actions. That's it. That's Correct. the premise. Yep. You follow. You accept it. Good to go. Yes. If yes. that is the case, and that means salvation is determined. So now we're going to go right. to the passages that we, we talked about last time, where the passages say that your salvation is determined by God. Right. Yeah. So then those passages, like for instance, uh, John six. Uh, Ephesians 1, Romans 8, 29, 8, 28, 29, Romans 9. Those are the passages that you're going to go to to tell me that salvation is something that he determines. What I'm simply saying is those pa those passages don't state that. They I would say X. I mean, huh? I, yeah, there's, there's a lot of scriptures. There's, there's well, I'd go there, and then you can go in the Old Testament where you just see glimpses of how God has his fingers in everything, and then you harmonize it all together. Right, right. But, the, but God, nobody argues that God doesn't have his fingers that he literally holds creation together. So no, what, I, what I mean is like the verse in Proverbs where it says he directs the heart of the king. He directs like the, uh, when you right. roll a dice. He but if we go to those same passages right. and those same verses, it says that man is making decisions as well. So ultimately, uh, God, we believe that God, God determines men to make decisions. Exactly. Okay. That's sorry. <laughs> but then that means the man is not making the decision. God is. That's the point. It, 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 I mean, it, it, that, it, but now it's your it, definition uh, of it. Uh, yeah. Okay. But, oh, that's, that's, that is the that's definition. how you want to define it. But that's exactly. But see. That's your argument and presupposition that it does it that it's not coherent. With no, God. it is. It is. We're telling you opposition, and you're saying that no, no, that's exactly. not that free will. And, and okay, also, the, so know, listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying, guys. You guys have to accept this fact, otherwise the argument never advances. You have to accept that if God determines you to do something, you didn't do it by any freedom of your own. Correct. Do you accept that statement? Okay, yes. all right. So I, all right, yes. I'll give you one example. I'll give. Can I just give you just one example? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Act sixteen fourteen. Mm-hmm. What about just real it? quick, Tim, before you go, I want just to act just sixteen fourteen. Sure. That's that, no, I'm just no, going no, to take these shots, man. Before you before you go into it, what I wanted to say is um Rudin and John Calvin, this dude does not know church history, bro. We, no, so, 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 so that? Calvin, oh, wait, which he, which one's that? Oh, yeah, this one? Oh, you yeah. know that nobody in church history believed in the perseverance of the saints other than Augustine, right, Tim? Um, well, Clement none of the church fathers believed in the perseverance Clement of Rome. Clement of Rome taught election. No, Clement of Rome did not teach election. Okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. This is already a falsehood that's going around. Does Clement of Rome believe that you could walk away from the faith? No, I've never read anything that. that, that All right. So if I show you that Clement of Rome believes that you could fall away from the faith, what would well, you say? Well, if you say fall away from the faith, it just depends on what you mean by falling away from the faith. Because All right, bro. So then, but, if, but, 
That was right. See, you but, said but okay, so free cool. will. At Tim, Tim, all due, res- all due respect, all due respect before you get to your axe passage. You just said that free will is not really free. You're not yeah. free to make a decision. Now I go to Clement, who's saying is you can fall from the faith. And you said it depends what you mean. So what you're saying is they won't really save at all. And that's what fall from the faith means. Correct? Well, I mean, like, it depends on what you mean by fall from the faith. Though. Like a, a Christian, believer, can, can a believer can, can a Christian stop fall believing. from the doctrine of salvation. Can, can a Christian fall from the gospel and be restored? Because everyone in Galatians chapter 2 did. The whole Galatian church fell away from the gospel, but yet they were restored through Paul. Right. But, so, but so, 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 wait a minute. so you're telling me, so you're telling me, that so you're telling me that Christians fell f- from the faith. That's the whole book of Galatians is written for that. Amen. Purpose. Amen. So if you understand that, but they were, if but you, they were still God's children. Okay. Then they didn't fall from the faith, brother. But, but, but Paul said it all. Paul told you. So then Paul said so just real quick. Great. Okay. They, amen. If okay. you're allowed to fall from grace. No longer saved just because they fell in the air. All right. So now, Tim, you're now telling me that you, you can fall from faith, but you're still. Are you a free gracer? This is what you did the other day. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You are you a free gracer. These are free grace you arguments. Fall, you can fall from the faith, but if you're truly one of God's children, you'll be restored. Then you, you cannot faith. fall the, from the faith. The free gracer teaches that you that you once you fall, you can still continue to Tim, live. Tim, you just you made a statement that's contradictory on its face. You said Ow. if you fall from the faith, you can't fall from something that you are not a believer of. So what you're saying is you were not really a believer, fall and when from, you fell from grace, you didn't really fall from grace. That's what you're saying. Fall from grace. Mm-hmm. Paul was dealing with the Galatian church who had fallen from grace because they stopped Let's... teaching justification by faith and faith alone that you had mm-hmm. to be circumcised in order to be saved because they were influenced by the heretics in their day. I don't care. You're, Paul, you're, going, you're going to the background. Fall from grace Paul means came, what? Fall from grace. You can fall from the gospel message. You can fall from mm-hmm. the faith. But if you're truly one of God's elect, you will be. You see that? You see the qualifier? You say truly. If you're falling from the faith, you were already truly one of God's elect. If you're not falling from the faith. Okay, let me you're redefine not. my terms. When I say faith, I'm talking about the doctrine, the doctrine of the gospel. Okay. Like First Timothy so, four one, the doctrine. Okay. So just so you know, this is Galatians is where we sit. But you, what you've started is you started by telling me you can fall from the doctrine of the gospel. You can. Okay. If you, if, just let me clear this. If you believed in the gospel, okay. Mm-hmm. When you believed in the gospel, are you saved? Yes. If you stop believing in the gospel, what happens? Well, what do you mean? Do you believe that you're justified by faith and faith alone in Jesus Christ? I don't. I didn't hear anything you just said. I'm waiting for an answer. Okay. I mean, if, if stop believing God in rest- the gospel, what but happens? God will restore you. Is what okay. I'm to Wait a minute. Faith. Even bro, we've made a huge advancement today. Huge. Okay. Because you're telling me something is possible. You know why, Tim? Because you're being honest. Okay. That in Galatians you can't deny that because there's something Paul happening. Paul stated it. Paul of course, said. Ex- do you, you know? Question? Yeah, I know. But do you know that no Calvinist would admit what you just said? Absolutely oh, yes, not. Oh, no, yes, no, they wouldn't, bro. God's children. No, let me let me pull in error. a real, let me pull in a Calvinist. God's children can fall into error for a time, but okay. God will restore them. They never a lose true faith, a true Calvinist doesn't they can say fall that. Into error. They can okay, fall into error. they can they fall do. into Dr. error. James White says it. Okay, he if a true if a true bro. if a true believer can fall into error, then what you're saying is God has determined them to fall into error, then to bring them bring them back. Bro, you do realize that the reason why half the New Testament was written because the Christians fell into error. Yo, yo, yo. Can I say one thing real quick? If you realize if that, what? Right? What are you, bro? If you're talking to me, you just admitted that somebody can fall from the faith. They can, so we've already agreed. What I'm saying, fall from the faith. Understand? I'm, not, I'm saying they stop believing. What I'm saying is they fall. From Do you the see? Now you qualified it again, bro. Now you qualified it again. So to stop believing in the faith doesn't really mean stop believing in the faith. It just oh means God. this temporary well, 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 where they don't the believe. the same terminology that the Apostle Paul used in First Timothy. I understand you use the same terminology, bro. But you're okay, that's all I'm doing. I'm not talking about justification. Okay, all right then. So faith. then I let I'm me let me work it out for you. Let me work it out. But es- what is that? What's your name? Esconner? Esconner? What, what's, what's your question, bro? Yeah, it's some, it's some, it's some dumb name. I made. It. I just want, just want to clarify real quick. I'm going to say this and I'm going to leave. Um, Clement of Rome explicitly said you have free will. I, I can read up the quote real quick and I'll leave. I don't even, uh, Scott, uh, Scott, if you want to read the quote, you're more than welcome to uh, read. Tell me if you guys can hear me real quick. Okay. You, you can read the quote, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, you can read the quote, bro. You, you, can read, election, you can read the okay. quote, but he's simply saying right now to fall away from the faith doesn't mean you're falling away from the faith. And he were reading Paul. We're All reading right, Paul. So, so, he, so we can give a rat what Clement is believing, bro. I've said it multiple times what I meant by that, Miller. So please, let's I know what you're saying. You know, wouldn't these. Wouldn't it be great if these Calvinists would just shut up and allow other people to speak? It's nauseating. It's childish. It illustrates a lack of ability to communicate. It's just pure rudeness, ignorance, nauseating. These are adults here. Adults. Big Ed there. 
and you know mr big tamale mr big homie little homie this is american trash in oh, that i'm saying is okay. it's incompatible but with i meant by faith what mm -hmm. i meant by faith was mm -hmm. the doctrine of the gospel oh, okay i mean faith and faith alone in christ jesus your own person the faith that god gives you the persevering faith so but no, saying, no, i truly want to be the last oh, 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 not, not believing but you can fall into error it's all so presupposition but go ahead read that quote if you have it handy so you can you can uh, make your splash here go for it you there scanner scanner steve's gone oh, he's gone oh, yeah yeah, yeah. can you hear me hello oh, yeah yeah go, go ahead and go ahead and read your quote bro yeah yeah okay look 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 look. i'm on my phone and when i go to switch tabs it i guess the mic goes up. i'm just gonna paste it in the chat so you guys can see okay all right and i'll read it paste it in the chat we'll read it okay give me all right second. bro all right man all right so just so that we're clear when Paul says fall from faith, it doesn't mean that you fall away from right, salvation. Yeah. Right, Tim? I'm just quoting the terminology he used in 1 Timothy 4 1. I didn't mean to say it like that, but what I'm saying is, is that it, it said enough. in latter times someone fall away from the faith, right? Mm -hmm. In the context, when he said someone fall away from the faith, gave me he just seducing doctrines and doctrines of demons. The context there was doctrines. So the faith is also considered a doctrine according to Paul. So the teaching of the death, burial, resurrection of Christ. So overall, when I was saying I was using his terminology, I probably should have said it a lot better. But when I said he fall away from the faith, I was saying the doctrine of the gospel. Some Christians can fall away from that. All right. Like, all right so it, let me just let me just press you. Okay. So if you like don't the Galatian believe, church did, is what I was saying. okay. If if somebody in the Galatian church doesn't believe the gospel anymore. What happens? Well, I mean, Paul was dealing with Christians who were who had fallen from grace. Okay, let me he read this fallen, quote real quick. But he still considered them brothers. No, but listen, he still considered them brothers, and God used him to restore them back to the to the to the elementary teachings. So, do you guys can verify this? So, grab this and paste it in Google. I'm not going to do it, but the brother said that this is a quote from Clement. It says, "Is therefore in the uh, it is therefore in the power of everyone since man has been made possessed of free will, whether he." Sorry about that. That's me. Uh... The shorts video I've done a sky out. And, uh... oh. He shall hear us to life or the demons to destruction. So pull that quote up. You guys can. I, I don't need evidence. I've read, I've read Clement. Clement says that you can walk away from the faith. And, yeah, and, and the whole point about what I and the, and the only reason I even brought up Clement to Rome was because he was talking about election. I never said anything about free will or falling away from your faith. Or anything like that. So no, was, I understand. But I'm saying is when you use the language, bro, that if somebody believes in another gospel, what happens to them? Right. Well, can, well, yeah. Yeah. So no, but well, here's what I want. Here's what I want you to see. Here's if, what I want you to see yeah. is that you believe for the time that they fall away or not believing in the gospel. Your your presupposition, right? Now I'm going to use your term, is right. that they have to. God will bring them back. God but is will it bring possible? Them back. Okay, but is it possible? Is it possible that that God, if they don't decide to come back, that God won't bring them? And back? they were never really one of His elect because God uh, disciplines His children. Understood. God, God disciplines understood. His children. Bear, bear the fruit of the spirit. So, okay, okay. That's, that's the whole point I was making. So okay, I totally get it. But here's where I have to restate your whole position. Therefore, God creates people to believe in Him, then for a period stop believing in Him. But then makes them come back, and if they didn't come back, they never really believed in him at all. If that's how that's you have the, the story, yes. that that's that's yes. God, well, what God the, has determined. Well, yes. that, that's the way. Yes, then that's the way I would view it. That God gives every man his measure of faith for a specific purpose. So when they go through that, like I'll give you a prime example of me. I got saved back in 2012, but I fell under heavy legalism and believed in a works based salvation for about four plus years, right? But yeah, I was still saved. But I was in the time, and I learned so much during that time that when God restored me back, I now have arguments against those very arguments that I used to have. So it tuned me. So, so me you were stronger. saved. I was saved, but I had fallen away from the realm of justification by faith and faith alone. So then you I were not saved. Least. No, I was saved. How but did you be saved but if you fall away from justification or grace? Because well, well, evi well, evidence of that is that I've been restored. No, okay, but that's that's the point. You, your evidence is that it, it is later in the timeline that you believe God will restore you. But that's another presupposition you're adding to the scripture because the scripture Hold doesn't it. say that. Every Hold time it, it just, says I don't know. You, I'm just going back to the Galatian church. They had, I, dude, you do realize the Galatian church had fallen away from the gospel for like at least two or three years before Paul dealt with them. And what, what's your point? The, you know my them, position. My position is if anybody falls from— He still considered them brothers. He still uh, considered them brothers. Okay. He, he, they, so they, they were in a false gospel. Wait a minute. So you're telling me that when he wrote to the Galatians— They were in, all in error. So, Tim— him when he wrote the letter to the galatians mm -hmm. and he's calling them brothers and saying who has bewitched you to fall to another gospel to fall to another gospel okay yep. you're telling me that they are saved or they weren't saved they were saved 
Those are his okay. brothers. He called them brothers. Okay, he calls them brothers and they says that they in, were but saved. they were believing in a false gospel. But what was heritage. what was the message of the letter? He doesn't say that they're not saved. He says you are falling. This is the problem. He's warning them before they go. That's why no, when he you get said to you Galatians, have fallen from grace. Okay, but in Galatians chapter five, he's still telling them walk in the spirit. And nobody course, denies that position. The question is in Galatians five twenty one, you have to answer why he says that they won't enter the kingdom. Why? Well. well well, well, of course. Well, the very instance of what he was talking about was the very lifestyle of those who were continuing to live under the law. And so he's saying those who live this way shall not inherit the kingdom of God. All In right. other words, there you okay, go. Wait. Okay. Well, when he says those who live this way shall not inherit the kingdom of God, he's talking about those who were living under the law in relation to the people who are coming to him and influencing them back into heresy. It doesn't matter. When, he says but, they're walking in But when says, the Lord speaks, mm -hmm. the sheep hear him. They're disciplined and they're restored because God disciplines his children. Okay, but that's and, an and that one, is your precept. Then, then why righteous. is he saying you won't enter, Tim? Why is he saying because you won't enter? Because he's talking about all those around them who are living this way. Brothers, you've already living said brothers. Oh, you said brothers, bro. Don't change it. Hold on, can you don't change it, bro. Can you bring don't change it. No, hold up. I'm not going to let Tim slide on this one. You I, said, I, 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 okay, then the letter, the letter is to believers. The letter is to believers. Then why is he telling you believers that they won't enter heaven? No, no, no. It's not about receiving it, Tim. You said that they were believers. So how are believers not entering the kingdom of heaven? In Galatians chapter 5, he's letting them know if they're living this way, they're not going to inherit the kingdom of God. Okay. So how do we identify? So the But the fruit of the Spirit is what? Love. So we know those who are living in their flesh, who are who are not of God and not going to inherit the kingdom of God. He doesn't say they're not of God. You just said they're brothers. They shall not inherit the kingdom of God, bro. Okay, exactly. He okay, says so the context, these there's brothers. The context of Galatians chapter five. What? What do you? The context of the whole book is don't go away from the gospel. Oh That's the context. Okay, okay, brother. Okay. No, it's argue. not okay, I, I gave it's my not okay. If there really isn't like okay, answer, Tim. No, it's not bro, that I don't like your answer. Is you keep telling me it's to believers. He's telling believers that they won't enter the kingdom, but then you go, right. yeah, but they will because you'll bring them back. So then the yes. warning yes. is empty. Yeah. Is empty. So those, okay. Okay. It's, okay, a, it, it's a false right. warning. It's a false warning. That's right. going to be my statement forevermore. That okay. if you go to the okay. if you, you don't hear a word the scriptures, say. now I heard, I bro. Not only have I heard a word you said, people can attest in this very room. JP can attest that I've argued this position for years. I know your position. Okay. This is very, very precise. I know okay. exactly what you believe, including your nuance of Calvinism. Your nuance is different. Be you and do I'm realize saying, that if you do realize that if we're in Christ, we're in the kingdom, right? You do realize we're already in the kingdom. Well, then you got a problem because Paul says writing to believers, and the believers somehow okay. may not enter. But okay, according okay. to you, he's, it's class. an empty oh. warning. Oh, okay, all right, all right. You just made that assertion. You literally just made that. No, up I didn't make said. it. That's your statement, bro. That your statement. Your statement. Let me read the passage. Okay. We'll just let everybody. We'll just let your everybody screen. read it. Your screen. Yeah, let me go ahead and read it, and we're just going to read it because we've already agreed. We've already agreed. It's two believers, right? We know it's the believers. Verse one. <clears throat> no, what do you mean? You want me to read all? Let's start at cha verse chapter one, verse one. Is that what we want to do? No, Galatians. No, I don't chapter, chapter, uh, oh, verse nine. Five, verse one. Yeah, we're no. Okay. No, no, no. Bro, we've already agreed that he's writing to believers. Anyway, this is sickening. Uh... <sighs> it's almost as though Calvinists cannot even hear their own uh, arguments. Something like that. It's like they keep trotting out these uh, Merck NPC stuff robotically. And it's almost as though they, they forget what they said five minutes ago because it happens to be convenient. Uh, oh well. Oh, 